welcome, welcome, welcome to another way to expand, learn, for you to learn, expand, build upon your creativity, imagination, and innovation. Everything is created twice. First in the mind, then it becomes reality. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. So you go out, the, go out there day to day, day after day to do the work. The confidence, put yourself out there boldly, authentically, even though the success, the creation has not arrived just yet. But you know that the richest place on earth, the richest real estate on earth is the graveyard where dreams and goals and everything else die along with you because you did not have the courage, the boldness, the being of the person who you need to become, the authentic self to make things happen. But that's all going to change you're not going to let yourself get to the richest, pl richest place on earth because you're going to have that go-getter energy to, instead of waiting for things to happen, you out there and make things happen. This is a method, the philosophy known as create like a God. This is your man, Jaron Mitchell, a.k.a. Jaron Winning Mitchell. And today's topic I'm going to be talking about today is another remix episode of my old regular recording podcast episodes that is going to be reasons why artists should read, think, and grow rich by napoleon hill remix okay i did this before in 2019 so i will have this in the description it will be on there at the description the description my apologies got something else i forgot i had this in my ear you're watching this on youtube i got um but got this yeah what he watched it and got the old version it will be on the description on the show notes okay if you're watching it on uh, watch on youtube is in the description below if you're watching listening not watching but listening this on to podcast feed rsv whatever platform favorite platform you love using you also see it in show notes as well okay and i've talked a lot about napoleon hill's work okay like i i believe i gave you guys a story before if you haven't heard it okay my first time reading think and grow rich was in 2016 i heard about it two times ty lopez talked about it and this is when i was having a difficult time thought he was full of crap but read think and grow rich and realizes man Ty Lopez know what he's talking about. He, he gives out books, and I read the other books along with that as well, mentioning the same thing, so, um, mentioning somewhat almost sim similar, very similar with Thinking Go Rich and everything. That was um, with Thinking Go Rich, and I read also The Power of Self Discipline as well with that. Okay, and why should artists read Thinking Go Rich? Because hey, man, you're an artist. You got a dream. You got something you want to accomplish. You need something that instructs and inspires. That's why you listen to this podcast. And Think and Grow Rich is one of the bases you understand the stuff that I'm talking about. Mainly, I think more of with other personal developments and stuff like that. With um, along with um, with 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 um, during that time with wealth consciousness. That's what this what um really what Napoleon Hill's book Think and Grow Rich is more with wealth consciousness okay bringing con wealth consciousness to your oops to your you know in your mind okay we're gonna wealth consciousness okay and here's a quote from him there's no limits um quotes um i quote there's no limitations in the mind except those we acknowledge both poverty and riches are the offspring of thought end quote napoleon hill okay so poverty if you think about poverty it's just a thought okay it's, it's the way it's limitations that we set up within our own mind. Okay. If you're an artist that's listening to this, you're an artist that's like, man, I don't want to listen to this book. I ain't trying to get rich. You might want to read that book. Okay. This is more with yourself and you're more about bringing con wealth conscious into yourself. You may be thinking of a poverty type of mindset. Okay, you may you may have to change your environment, change some friends. It's going to take some time. It's taking me some time to actually realize this. My um, what 2016 has been six years now since I actually yeah about around this time me recording this in the beginning of January um, of 2022. This is actually the time where I read Thinking Go Rich six years ago. Okay, yeah, there's some time. There's still some stuff I need to build on. There's some stuff I need to work on. Um, but you know what? I have no regrets of actually reading the book and all the stuff that I did. I did was all everything that I, was coming to me is feedback. Okay, all of this is feedback that I'm going through, but there's no limit. And I'm still learning this. It's still something I'm not getting um, that I'm getting, getting from this. But there's no limitations to the mind except those we acknowledge, both, po um, both poverty and riches are the offspring of thought. OK, if you're an artist that's saying, man, I'm not a good artist, I'm not going to make money in artists. Guess what you're doing? You think of poverty type of mindset. You having this type of mindset saying like you or other people's telling you you can't make money as art. It's too saturated. You, how are you going to make money? It's hard. It's, even it's hard for an entrepreneur. It's hard just to live life in general. You can make hard easy for yourself. You can make hard hard for yourself. It depends on the way you're thinking, depending on who you surround yourself with. It depends on who, 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 who is um, who was actually with you, who, who, what, not who, but what you can, what you will do, what decisions you will make. In, in, 
what decisions that you say, you know what? No, man, I'm going to make this. I'm going to make, I'm going to be whatever it takes to be live my life. This, this artist lifestyle that I truly want to able to make art, make the stuff that I want, be creative, make music, do animations, have my own studio, whatever it is. Okay. As you as an artist. Okay. You know, read thinking or rich, read the book. You must, you should read it. It's like, a, I won't say should, it's a must, must read book. Think and grow rich. Because whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve, that quote is from Napoleon Hill. I say it every single day on my podcast. Okay. There's no limitation in the mind except those we acknowledge both poverty and riches are the offspring of thought. If poverty is the offspring of thought, you got to think if in riches too, that means I just got to change my thoughts. I got to change my thought pattern. I got to change my habits. I got to fire the old poverty habits that's not serving me, the thoughts that's not serving me, the things that are not serving me, and will, the things that will serve me because we living in abundance, prosperity, and affluence. Okay. And this book changed my life and his understanding. And I'm quite sure what Bruce Lee read the book. Okay. He, he read the Master Keys of Riches. Okay. I know he read the book, um, in Thinking Grow Rich. Um, Kendrick Lamar, many other these Nipsey Hussle, I'm quite sure, because he, he listened to audio books and stuff like that. I'm quite sure many other artists that's actually out that's actually out there that knows read, read these type of books. I mean, read these books to help themselves. OK, this is a must. OK, this is one of my top books. You as an artist, OK, must read. It's a must. It's going to be some of my books, too. And, it, and my books are going to be a must for you, those who are artists that's out there. OK, let's go ahead and get to point number one today's topic, which is five reasons why artists must read, think and grow rich. OK, goals. You want to set goals for yourself, right? Always set goals for yourself. A goal is a dream with a deadline. OK, more quotes right here. It's um, think that, yeah, from thinking grow rich. OK, quote, the starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep consistently keep keep this consistently in mind. Weak desire brings weak results, just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. Whatever the mind can, whatever the mind of, um, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. You are you are the master of your destiny. You are you can influence, direct, and control your own environment. You can make your life what you want it to be. When defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not as sound. Rebuild those plans and set a sail once more towards the covenant goal. Do not wait. The time will never come. The time will never just be. I mean, okay, that was my little mistake. Uh, continue with this quote. Just where you stand in work, whatever tool you may have at your command and better tools you will find you along the way. Whatever the, whatever the, man, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You know what? Me reading this out loud, I was like, dang, it's some stuff I'm missing, some stuff I didn't do. Okay, some stuff that I messed up on. I, I mean, reading on this. Okay, but see, that's that's why I have the book with me. That's why I read it. Um, like I read at least every year or multiple times a year because I'm looking to get on what am I doing wrong. Okay, what why what am I not getting? It's like reading the Bible every single day. What am I not getting? I pop my knuckles in the mic. Y'all probably heard that. <laughs> uh, my apologies, but what what, what setting them goals. Okay. Something I also learned with Grant, Grant Cardone, which also need, I need to work on myself as well is first thing in the morning, write your goals down. Does it do it? Whatever. How many takes 30 seconds, a minute, just write them down. Come in, just write them down. You don't need to look at them. Just write them down. And when you have disappointments, write them down. If you, before you go to sleep, write them down. So that way you are able to have your mind focused on what you need to do. And with um, the riches, the riches, the science of getting rich by all of these rattles, he talks about focus, on your vision, focus on your goals, focus on the vision and the mission that you have, paraphrasing all that, but that's what he was saying. Okay. So set the goal. And that's why I meet you in this leadership too. I, I'm in this leadership workshop in um, emotional intelligence leadership workshop. And they say, okay, um, it's more like, when would, when it be by a direct time and a direct date and all that. And when it would be time. Okay. So the goal um, the goal is a dream with a deadline. Set the goal, set the deadline, and keep it going. Okay, when you when you when you fail, when something happens, when you met with temporary defeat, okay, that means your plan wasn't that sound, and you must rebuild those plans and set a sail uh, once more towards your covenant goal. Okay, remain the goal remains the same. 
I mean, it wasn't sound. Make a plan. Have a plan. OK, it doesn't have to be perfect. If the plan doesn't work and it doesn't work, that means it wasn't that sound. You must adjust a plan, just the plan. OK. So with that, what do you think? You know, me actually, me, I'm gonna give you this. When I first started in 2016, I wrote everything down. I wrote a long list. I wasn't know what the hell. I was like kind of figure out trying to make it perfect. I decided to do it. I got a website up, I got a couple things up. And, and it wrote, I was really on setting on top of what days I'm gonna have it. I set a date, I set everything. You know what? Me thinking about it, I'm gonna start doing that again. Cause I, I haven't done it ever since then. That time I haven't really done it and been going through some other stuff. But you know what? No excuses. And, and, you know, I'm not perfect. There's some stuff I'm still working on, some stuff going to. But as an artist, it's a must read, man. Like, read this multiple times. Read it multiple times. You know, and I'm a re- I keep reading it multiple times. I read Laws of Success, Thinking Go Rich. I read this, these books multiple times, man. So keep on rereading it. Keep on doing it. Because if you want to be an artist, you want to set your set uh, with, with Demon Slayer, a blaze, okay? Set yourself a blaze where you're becoming an artist, making money for yourself. You're free. Set a date. Set a definite chief aim. Set a date. This is what kind of you can say. Is set a date. Set a definite chief aim for yourself. Okay? Set a definite self-purpose. And may, set a date. If it does not, if something happens with your towards that plan, conv- uh, change something with that plan because that means it wasn't barely, your pl- um, plan wasn't that, sa- was not sound, and and go out and go with the um, w- um, gold again. Do not wait. The time is never just to be right. Okay, go where you stands. Whatever tools you may have at your command, the better tools you will find along. Will along uh, better tools will find you along the way. Well, f- well, not find you. Will be found as you go along. Okay, whatever the mind of whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Point number two. Today's topic, which is five reason why it's a must. Artists should read uh, uh, five reasons why artists must read Think and Go Rich. Think and Go Rich remix. Point number two. Okay, imagination. Okay, we we'll go ahead and go with imagination. We talk about this. Okay, imagination. Read this right here. This is a quote from the book. Okay, uh, and that's actually one of the thirteen steps towards riches. By the way, so that's another reason why imagination. We talked about this on my well this, in creativity, creativity, imagination, innovation. Okay. Imagination is one of the 13 steps towards riches. Okay, let me go ahead and read this quote. Imagination, the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivable, powerful force the world has ever known. Cherish your vision and your dreams as they are the child so, uh, ch- children of your soul. The blueprint of the ultimate achievement. The only trouble with the world today lies in our lack of understanding of the power of imagination. Man's only limit limitations within um, is within reasons lies in his development of the use of his imagination. Capa- uh, capability means imagination. Capa- yeah, capability means com- imagination. First come thought, then organize that thought into ideas, plans, and transform them thoughts into reality. The beginning, as um, b- the beginning, as you will observe, is your imagination. If you do not see great riches in your imagination, you will never see them in your bank account. The imagination is the workshop of the soul where it are shaped all plans and individual achievement. All of your breaks you need in life waits within your imagination. Imagination is the workshop of the mind, capable of turning mind energy into accomplishment and wealth. Whatever the, mind, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Thoughts are things, and powerful things at that. When mixed with a definite pur- definiteness of purpose and a burning desire, it can transmit into, the, into riches. Using auto-suggestion, have faith, imagination can overcome fear, and time is your opponent player as, a, as in check, a checkerboard. If the winds of fortune are temporarily blown against you, remember that you can harness them and make them carry you towards your definite purpose through the use of your imagination. That's why I think of why, why you think I say imagination innovation, imagination from this podcast, imagination, what I talk about. Don't, don't you guys see rather ra- the reason why that artists must rethink and go rich? Because our imagination, and I talk about this, our imagination is the most powerful thing. 
Okay, we can use it for us. It can be used against us or used for us. Okay, some of us think about having imagination focus on the bad thing. And I understand that because I, I, I'm looking to control that muscle, control that as well of my, of my imagination. Okay, things that may even happen, but see yourself for great riches. See yourself as being an artist. See yourself what type of artist you can be. What type, what, what's your plans? Okay, and transform it and transmute it into reality. Okay. And let me go ahead with these other two types. There's two types of imaginations. Okay. You got the synthetic imagination, which this means through the faculties that may arrange uh, old concept ideas or plans and combine them in, in new combinations. This faculty creates nothing, a mere works of material existence, education, and observance with which it is fed. It is faculties used by most inventors and expectations of the genius who draw, draws upon the creative power. Okay, this is old ideas, just like the iPhone, just like the computer. Some of these stuff are old ideas, like this podcast is built up on old ideas, built up on something that old ideas, new, it comes up with new concepts and I'm coming up and creating. There's nothing new about it. It's nothing new under the sun with that. OK, but then you got this. It's been artists, a lot of art stuff. There's a lot of like different types of stories you read. Yeah. You know, stuff that has not been done. It's old concept, old ideas. We use it up. And this comes with another type of uh, the second type of imagination, which is creative imagination and creative imagination states within the book. Think and grow rich through the faculties of create um, with the faculties of creative imagination that uh, the infinite on um, the fit the. Fit mind of the man, uh, um, ah, the fitness mind of man, infinite. I'm probably wrote this wrong down here. Let me, re, let me re say this again. Creative imagination states through the faculties of creative imagination, the infinite mind of the man has, has direct communication, the infinite intelligence, and the faculties of through which hunches and inspirations are received. And it is, it is by the faculty of all bases of new ideas and handed over to man. And it is through the faculties of those vibrations from man uh, uh, of others are received. It is through the faculties that one individual may tune in in the communication within the subconscious mind of other men. The creative imagination works automatically in the manner of described in the sequence pages. This faculty... This faculty functions only when the conscious mind is vibrating at an extremely rapid rate. For example, when the conscious mind is at a stimulation through emotion and a strong desire. And I experienced this a lot. This actually, man, it's crazy. I haven't read Thinking Go Rich in, in a while now. Be thinking about it. But um, that's creative imagination. There's two types, two types you can use. And I had these where it's like hunches, inspirations, using the losing the storehouse of infinite intelligence. OK, so this is the reason why this is the reason why, man, like like read, read the book. It's dealing with your imagination. It's dealing with your dealing with your creativity. That's why I talk about creativity, imagination, innovation through Create Like a God podcast. That's why this is the main reason, not just art stuff. It's with everything. OK, people have people can have imagination. You have imagination. You just have to learn how to use it in the right way, the way that you can use it and use it towards your which is the creative imagination, which is the basic subconscious mind is conscious mind and other and, and through a, and also through a strong desire. A rapid or vibrationing or vibrationing according to a, a core um, accelerating at a rapid rate. OK, so make sure you go ahead and learn those two and, and also build upon your imagination. OK, and I'll talk about this. This is. This is it. Save this, man. Save this podcast if you're an artist. Save this if you're an entrepreneur or whatever it is, if you're a creative person in the imagination. Okay. Or go into Think and Grow Rich and look, go in there under the imagination part of it. Okay. The imagination on 13 steps towards riches. And this is the reason why when I read this book, it was like, dang, artists, everyone's not, and it's not artists that's creative. Everyone's creative. Everyone can be creative. It's not just art. And I love creativity, imagination, innovation. That's why I talk about it a lot. I love talking about it. And that's why I say create like a God, because we all co-create our own reality. And this is the reason why, you know, and we're the master of our fate and the captain of our soul. God gave us this planet, for, gave us not this planet, but God, we're here for a reason and we're made of the image of God. Okay, so let's go ahead and use those, our imagination to our favor. Use those synthetic, ima synthetic imagination and creative imagination that will actually help you towards your goal as an artist.
as an artist to get to where you need to be at or get to where you want, love to be at and see yourself of that artist you need to be, which is where human beings be, do have, that's the be, do have principle being, okay? Being, imagination, you already being the artist you already are and act as that artist right now, okay? Let's get to the next point. Point number three, today's talk, which is five reasons why artists must read, think, and grow rich, okay? Point number three is success and failure, okay? The, the habit of taking an extra mile, we talked about it with, with failure, it's temporary defeat, okay? Temporary defeat and habit of taking going an extra mile, you're going, you're going further, okay? You're going to have to take an extra mile, you're going further than what it needs to be, further than it's coming. It's actually one of 17 uh, principles of um, 17 principles of success, okay? The philosophy of success, is these are one of the 17 principles, which is take, the habit of taking an extra mile, <clears throat> Okay, take it. It's in the master of the keys is riches. Read the I suggest you guys read all Napoleon Hill stuff. If you're not just an artist, man, listening to this, read his stuff. Read his stuff, consume his stuff, read it over and over and over again. That's what I've been doing. And and, and me, I'm still looking to understand because there's some things that I'm missing, some things I forget, some things I violate, and I continue to read it to build upon myself and learn and able to because it has to go with my create like a God philosophy and what I'm developing, what I'm creating, what I'm willing to create and talk about. But taking the habit of taking an extra mile, you know, this is more giving or, or you you giving out more than you receive, just like this podcast. OK, I'm going out and giving an extra mile. OK, I'm giving you guys content every single day. Do some live streams, do some other things. And, and this is free, by the way. You don't have to pay this. I mean, you guys can pay it if you, you guys can pay it to get free access, get access to these episodes right away. And me doing like, I'm going to do live streams and stuff like that, exclusive for live streams and everything later on. But <clears throat> learn a b- difference between success and failure. You know, success, I believe I had an episode on with, the, uh, with success. And I think I'm going to have another one with, with failure as well. Okay, the acronyms of those things. But taking the habit of taking an extra mile. Go take the extra mile. Go out and do it. If you're an artist looking at this man, like, do more. And I don't say do more, but take the extra mile. Go out and take the extra mile. And watch you receive. You will receive. It's like the giving. I look at taking the extra mile is like giving. That's how I look at it. The, the law of giving. Okay, actually, let me go ahead and let me type this in my browser right here. Um, that I got up. We're going to talk about the, um, we're going to talk about the habit of taking an extra mile. Okay. Which is, let me go ahead. Let's write on Google. You can go ahead and look. You guys can go ahead and look this up. The average of the, ha- the, the, uh, um, the advantages of taking an extra mile are definite and uh, understand, understandable. It is tend to develop a keen alert imagination being because it is, it is habit, which inspires one continues to seek new and better ways to render service. Okay. Taking the extra mile, developing an important quality of a, a personal personal initiative. Okay, it's another thing with create with this podcast taking personal initiative. That's why you got to go go out and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. This is basically service, like I mentioned: give, 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 give. Okay, give service. Service is seniors to sales. Service is seniors to marketing. Get, provide people great service. You help somebody out. If you help when you help somebody get what they want, you will get what you want. Help somebody get what they want. You will get what you want. Okay. Go out and take the extra mile. Help and serve. Be of service. This is why I say Jesus is the most example of who we should be like. It's a service. Being a service. Being a leader. Okay. You as an artist, you are a leader. And you as an artist, no one cannot duplicate who you are. People want to go work for you. People want to work for you. Okay. People, you, you, you know, there can be another Kanye West. Okay, so provide great, amazing service. Go out and take an extra mile with your people, with whoever you're working with, your customers, your clients. Okay, let's go and get to the next topic, which is today's topic, which is five reasons why you must read, think, and grow rich. Okay, as an artist. Okay, which is point number four, which is decision, um, decision and persistence. Okay, decision. Okay, let's look up the def. Um, decision is means cut off. If you're at, like you know, with Tony Robbins, okay, to cut off, to kill. Okay. That's the, uh, I think that's the origin of the word. Okay. Um, determine, decision, determine. Okay. Conclusion, settlement, commitment, resolve, determination. Okay. Those are the synonyms. A conclusion of a resolve, a resolve rich after considering. Okay. A formal judgment, a, a, the acceptance of process of deciding something, of a resolving a question. Okay. Decision making, have make quick decisions and be persistent. Okay. And like 
taking action, taking massive action, having the courage to take action. And, and that's how you're going to kill doubt is taking action. Go out and do it. Take imperfect action. Take action anyway. Be persistent. Keep on being persistent. And somebody, somebody with your goals, not even that, with your, somebody will buy from your work. But be persistent. Have the decision. You know what? I'm going to be an artist. I am going to be, okay, being, be a artist, being an artist, not doing the stuff our artists do, being the artist, being that person that would do the things that artists or who you would like to be, that authentic self you like to be, and being persistent. Make quick decisions, which is also another, I think is another 13 steps towards riches, which is decisions, and also persistent. Okay, I believe it's in that category. I'm not too sure. I don't remember that 13 st- step towards riches on the top of my head. But <clears throat> make the decision. And be persistent. You know, I made a decision. You know what? I'm going to do art. You know what? I'm going to make that decision. Actually, I'll give you guys a story. Okay. I made a decision in 2018 that no matter what happens, I am going to embrace my masculinity. I'm going to embrace myself as a man because I realized that when I had sex for the first time, <laughs> I'm giving you guys well, I was a virgin. That's pretty funny. But um, this is just a story I'm giving y'all. When I made when I made that I actually had, and I realized that sex is not gonna keep someone like me, a man like me. And, and it was very disappointing on my first first time. Um, maybe I should have actually well, it is for specific episode. But with that, I made a decision, start getting into masculinity, looking up masculine, and I decided to I decided I'm gonna embrace this masculine world, this masculine role. And I do not believe in tr- toxic masculinity i mentioned that before i do not believe in it and i do honor traditional masculinity not made it more of the traits you know courage you know um stoicism you know um certainly sh- certain traits okay they say uh, certain things that causes masculinity um well ch- toxic masculinity are not good for men um i'm gonna have to like some of the stuff i'm gonna have to disagree some like traditional masculine traditional masculinity i honor that like like it's something that i admire actually let me look it up right now okay um but with that oops with that like that's why i'm giving you guys a story because i made the decision i am going to embrace my masculinity i am going to embrace and i am proud to be a man i am not ashamed to be a man i am a proud to be a man okay I'm proud to be a man. And I don't care what anybody says with toxic masculinity, the individual is toxic, toxic. I don't believe in that, which let me give you guys right here, the traits of traditional view as masculine in a Western society, which is our society, which is strength, courage, independence, leadership, and assertiveness. These are the traits that I admire. Okay. Assertiveness, leadership, you know, independence. Okay. You don't really need anybody else. Independence. Okay, courage, face of fear, strength. Okay, not just like that, you know. Um, I, those are are what what I believe in, and it is not harm both men and women. Okay, it doesn't, man. Like these are admire strength, courage, independence, leadership, assertiveness. You know, stoicism is another one. You know, like like. I honor these and I love these. These and I admire these traits as a man. Okay. And, and going leading on to persistence. Okay. I've failed so many freaking times, man. Like I say in the past five years, I had dealt with someone and lost a lot of money, lost some time. Um, this person, I lost this money with this guy, man. And I'm a little, I, I am at the time, I am, uh, I am uh, very upset. And I was in 2021 where I realized that. I was being like, this person was not serving me. This person was destroying my life, like wasting my time for the five years, then gaslighting me and all this other stuff. But I, I stay, I'm staying persistent in what I do. I still, still going to do fall in the sun of sin. I'm still going to do some other stuff that I got going on with my business. I'm still being persistent with it. Cause I'm not giving up on those, you know, I'm not, but I went through some stuff. I went slept in my car twice, 2017 slept in my car for a whole year. You know, 2021 slept in my car for six months. 2021 is a whole disaster for me. Slept in my car for six months. Friend, you know, learning out this friend backstabbed me, was talking smack about me, just telling me about I'm ruining his, um, his, his cyber, um, his, um, 
sobriety because I didn't know when I met him with all his friends, I didn't know he was on drugs at the time. He lost my MacBook. Like, you know, I'm not here to give you guys any penny, pity, uh, pity, set pity on me and everything like that, but I learned from it. I'm here to give you guys that, that I am staying persistent, persistent through all that. 2021 was the most difficult year of my life, even 2019 when I started this podcast. Okay. When I started this, thought this person kept leading this person back in my life. That's, 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 um, that's on me. You know, I take full responsibility of that. You know, the actions, everything right now, I take full responsibility and all that. I've been fooled. I've been hoodwinked. I've been, <laughs> I've been, you know, backstabbed, you know, like I think about it and I laugh about it right now, you know, but here's the thing. At the end, I'm going to have the last laugh. In the end, I'm going to be the one that's successful. In the end, I'm going to make sure I'm going to be the one. I, not make sure I am going to be that person. I am not, not to get back on them, but I'm the one that's going to have the last laugh where I'm the one that's going to be having the best revenge, whatever, which is success. Success is the best revenge. But I'm still being persistent of what I, what I am going to do. You know, 20, even 21, one lost my Ford Focus ST car I've been sleeping in. Um, Ever since I had a little, a little sad that I had gotten it. Some other stuff happened. You no, know, 2021 has been a tough mental year for me. You know, 2019 was the same, I guess the same way, even 2018. But um, you know what? No more of those years. No more. No, no more of those years. And um, that's the reason why I'm creating this podcast, man. Like, there's a reason, a lot of reason why. If ever you have a dream, you ever have a goal, man, don't give up on it. Don't give up. Keep going. If you're an artist listening to this, man, keep Keep get setting yourself and build your brand as an artist. Don't 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 give up. You know, have this mindset of an artistpreneur. Okay, but don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. And I made that I made these certain decisions. You know, even the decision, even I say that's a good example. I made the decision now. I'm not never gonna. I'm this person's not gonna be in my life. You know, did some things and found um, some stuff that he owes. He still owes me a lot of money. You know, blame me, gaslight me on some things and, and put the blame on me and. It, scamming me you know it's all good you know i take full responsibility of all that i'm not here to tell you guys this this story to have pity on me to cry or anything like that but i'm gonna be the example where i went through all this shit and i'm still going to become successful i'm still going to be out up top i'm already a success but money is the result of my success According to Earn Nightingale, money is the result of success. But I am going towards my goals. I'm stepping in, and there's still, still much I have to learn. But stay, have that decision. Um, make the decision, kill off, have the conclusion, make that judgment. Like I made the decision to cut this man off. Like I made the decision, like, you know, I'm going to brace myself as a man, as masculinity. I don't care what nobody say. I can get shamed, criticized, whatever it is. Same thing with this friend that, that somewhat back, well, not friend, but backstabbed me and all that. Or, or not really a friend. Actually, when, actually, when I first started, I, I remember thinking about it. I had all the thoughts in my head, a lot of emotions. I'm not going to dig too much deep on the emotions that I had at that time. I was very angry, but it was more than anger. Um, but I realized that this person that I met, because at the time he was on drugs, I didn't know that. He just, I was just used. I, was, I wasn't really a friend. I was just used. I was just being used. Um, maybe I'm telling a story <laughs> to myself. Who knows? But I was thinking I was being used. Wasn't truly friends. Me thinking about it. I didn't tell you guys the whole story with that. Um, tell you guys on another time with that. However, I made the decision to cut this man off when I realized that um, this man is just not, he's not, no integrity. Lie, call banks, lie. A lot of people lie to them and, um, you know, costing me more, ended up costing me more money, cost me something, you know, ruining my reputation or ruining my things with other things, with other whether they're banks and stuff like that. Some of you might, some of you probably, probably feel that, you know? So I made the decision, you know what? I'm going to cut this person off. I don't need him in my life. Gave him too many chances. I don't need to give him any chances. I don't need to be walked over like a doormat. And I'm going to make an episode why nice guys finish last. And I don't like the word nice. Anyways, not be dull, disappointed, or anything like that. Let's go to the next point. Today's topic, which is five reasons why artists must read and think. Um, read and think, um, read, think and grow rich. Point number five is the philosophy of individual achievement. Okay. Think and grow rich is the philosophy of individual achievement, self-determination. You know, I am very determined. I am very ambitious. 
Um, I'm very driven. That have been told. I am very driven. I am a, in, I am a driven person. Okay, if you like, if, I am driven. There's not many artists or any other people that's driven. I am driven. I am a driven person. I'm looking to do big things, do good things, big things. Okay, but if you're looking to learn and you know, learn the philosophy, individual, um, the individual achievement, self determination, not just thinking or rich, all Napoleon Hill's books, all his books, read all of them, read all of them, understand it digest it and understand this philosophy individual achievement self-determination and have be definite of everything you do and and, and learn of harm uh, uh, and with harmony i mean with harmony but things with harmony which is harmonious attraction and all that other stuff i'm still wearing it, looking to that but the uh, uh, uh and the philosophy of individual achievement okay that's the reason why you hear to achieve yourself as a goal, as an artist, to become an artist, to live yourself as an artist, to make work as an artist, to whatever it is that you want to do. You don't have, maybe you don't, you want to work for a company. You want to build your own, you know, creative entrepreneurship, entrepreneur brand, I mean, an artistpreneur. Okay. Whatever it is, that is, those are the five reasons why you must read thinking or five reasons why you must read thinking or rich as an artist. Okay. Let's go ahead and recap today's topic, which is five reasons why you, you know, artists must read thinking or rich, which quote right here i got from napoleon hill is there is no limitation in the mind except those who acknowledge poverty and the riches are an offspring of thoughts napoleon hill point number one was goals a goal is a dream without a deadline point number two imagination okay two types of imagination authentic imagination and creative imagination okay point number three which is successful success and failure the habit of taking an extra mile service senior service is seniors to sales and um um marketing and senior to sales okay but service is where it's at people will keep coming to you keep coming back to you when you provide great service when you help people get what they want you will also get what you want that's a quote I think from zig Ziglar or jim Rohn. don't remember okay um point number four which is this um this um decision and persistence have the decision i'm going to be an artist and matter what happens persist throughout your um throughout your temporary defeats along the journey and if your plan's not sound on your goal rewrite the goal rewrite i mean rewrite the plan and go right back towards the goal be persistent at it okay point number five is the reason why is because the philosophy of individual achievement okay make sure you look at watch this on youtube go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like hit that notification bell so that way you get get us and we can go up in the rankings within youtube and leave a comment below if you're listening and go to the podcast and subscribe and do same five star rating and review you're on the podcast do the five star rating and review tell me give me some con constructive criticism on what you got okay what you got and everything like that let me know okay then go on to youtube and subscribe to the youtube channel like and subscribe everything's in the show notes below and on youtube everything's on the description below all right folks folks is not where we at it's where we come from always always create like a god because you are the master of your faith the captain of your soul and you are made in the image of god create like a god